Uh, one of the products that I'm most excited to talk about at the show actually is our 2025 rendition of the ROG Nook. Mm. What I think about this is it's kind of a ground up renovation of this platform. As you may have seen over there, we have our previous gen model that has the RTX 4070 series with our previous generation Intel uh, CPU. But this one takes it up one more step with the latest generation Core Ultra processors as well as a 5080 in there. Oh. What's great about this is it's just such a compact build. You don't really have to deal with much with the build right here. It's streamlined, it's quiet, it's nice. And it's also just easier to set up something like this and have it run as like an HTPC. Or yeah. Use it even as your main computer because it has the power to make it work. What's great about it is it's super expandable. I believe it has multiple M.2 slots. It has uh, soda and RAM, so it's a lot easier to set up. Okay. They're dealing with soldered RAM, so when it's uh, time to upgrade, way easier. And what I really like about it is just the size. It makes it such yeah. a flexible system. It does come with a 330 watt power bank or a power brick that makes it easier just to tuck away. Sure. But that also makes it quieter and cooler because the component that's heating it or powering it is away from it. Well, and it's it's hardly bigger than a router. Yes. Like it's Especially it the router go, we spoke about earlier. Well, I mean, yeah, but I, like just like you were saying, the, the ISP router yeah. that you normally get, the surfboard or Absolutely. whatever it is. Like, this is barely bigger than that, and it's a 5080 in there? Yep. Up to a 5080. We will have separate SKUs with different uh, graphics cards as well as CPU configurations, so that if you want something that doesn't have to do as much, you can get that with this. That's incredible. Yeah. So, multiple uh, M.2 slots, yes. so you have expansion options yes. there. What a RAM, I, you said that you can replace it. Is yes. there it's a DDR5? Okay. I can't speak to the specific. Uh, sure specifications there yet, but it is something that we've kept in mind with upgradability. We want this to be a more long-lasting system, and we want it to be something that you can use for any kind of gaming uh, workload. So it's something that I think we're really going to focus on in the future is making sure that we have this up to date as every year we're going to probably try and upgrade it. But this is the 2025 model, and it's something that we're very excited to speak to.